okay sex with Dr. Ruth. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, I must say, it is a real pleasure for me to meet you. Well, thank you, and welcome to my program, OK Sex. <laughs> Doctor, tell, tell me about your show. The major problem with people today is communicating with each other. People ask me questions about sex. I give them answers, which helps them have OK Sex. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, I, that's a very distinctive uh, accent. Where are you from? I am from Alabama. <laughs> Alabama, but your, your accent sounds German. Well, that is a very interesting story. One crazy night many, many, many years ago, the Lawrence Welk Orchestra came through on their southern trip, and I met Myron Florin. <laughs> Don't let anyone ever tell you that an accordion is not a marital aid. <laughs> You're such a... Such a, a, such a tiny lady. Beg your pardon? You, you're such a tiny lady. Shortness in itself should never detract from a healthy sexual life. <laughs> Even though one is short, you can still go for the goal. I see that the phone lines are jamming up. And I know our viewers would like to ask a, a lot of questions. Yes, right? well, let's take a few calls. All right, here's, a, here's our first caller. Hello, you're on the air with Dr. Ruth. Dr. Ruth, is it all right to have sex before marriage? The question, as I understand yes. it, is, is it all right to have sex before marriage? Yes. Yes. As long as you tell the Justice of the Peace to turn his back and put his fingers in his ears, <laughs> then you could have sex before marriage. Okay, you're on the air with Dr. Ruth. Uh -huh. Dr. Ruth, I want to put some variety into my sex life. Can you all recommend any different positions? Different positions? <laughs> well, they're shortstop or second base. <laughs> I suggest you call Steve Sachs of the Dodgers. He's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air. Uh, Dr. Ruth, is it all right for a man to make sounds while he's having sex? Certainly it is all right. As long as you don't wake up your wife. <laughs> I have a question myself, Doctor. Please, please. All right. When does the average person first become interested in sex? Studies have shown that most people become interested in sex at approximately the same time. What time is that? During the first commercial of The Tonight Show. <laughs> May we have the next caller, yes. please? Uh, I'm interested in getting into group sex. Group sex. Very interesting. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, there ain't much to tell. I'm five foot one and I weigh 475 pounds. Well, at 475 pounds, everything you do is group sex. <laughs> Try to get a hold of yourself. <laughs> I make a little joke occasionally. <laughs> Doctor, this is kind of personal, but how did you learn about sex? I learned about sex the usual way, watching Dynasty. <laughs> Joan Collins, schnitt <laughs> busy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're speaking with Dr. Ruth. Uh, doctor, how can I locate a woman's G-spot? <laughs> you could offer her a C-spot. <laughs> Yes. Dr. Uh, Ruth, I'm a 25-year-old bachelor. 25-year-old bachelor? Do you, do you have lots of girlfriends? Oh, yes, I do. Then what is your problem? Well, after every time I make love, I always smoke a cigarette. But smoking cigarettes are really bad for your health. That is correct. I suggest that next time, after the act, you chew on my newest product, this candy bar, Dr. Baby Ruth. <laughs> all have to have something going. <laughs> Next caller, please. Dr. Ruth, my husband and I don't see eye to eye when it comes to making love. Could you be more specific? Well, I believe in taking my time, and he, he just doesn't like much foreplay. That is too bad. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> foreplay can...
can enhance your sexual pleasure. What's even more pleasurable than foreplay is six play. Six play? Yes, that's getting lucky with a hockey team. Hello, you're speaking with Dr. Ruth. I'm 83. Uh, I'm 83 years old. And I'm in a relationship with an 18-year-old college football I think she's, player. She's 83 years is, old. I understand that she is 83 going with a young college player? Yes. Is, is the relationship platonic? Oh, no, it's wild, all night, non-stop, raw animal sex. I see. Well, what's the problem? Well, I'm worried. This kind of a non-stop physical activity, well, it could prove fatal. Well, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> it's an old joke, but I'm an old lady. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question, Doctor. Uh, do people lose... <laughs> My question, do people lose interest as they get older? No. No, they do not. A 70-year-old man still has the same drive. He just has more trouble finding his keys. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Dr. Well, thank you. And to all my viewers at home, here's wishing you okay sex. 